Hi guys, welcome to another week of remote learning. Uh, it was nice to see some of you on our Zoom chat last week. Hopefully I will see more of you guys this week. Uh, don't forget that is coming up on Wednesday. Um, but uh, before we get started, um, I hope you guys had a great Easter weekend. We had a good one. Uh, we actually did church remotely, so I watched church in my pajamas, which was pretty crazy. Um, we've been doing it remotely every week, but it was just extra weird doing it on Easter. Um, we did an Easter egg hunt for our girls and lots of activities. Um, the egg hunt was actually at my Mima's house. I know so many of you have been praying for her and she's not in the hospital, which is great, but she is um, in a lot of pain. So if y'all would just keep her in your prayers and our family, that would be awesome. Um, she stayed up at the house and we were out in the yard, you know, social distancing. So it was kind of crazy and weird. Um, I know lots of people are doing lots of creative things. So hopefully you guys are part of that. Um, if you have things going on that you need prayer for, please reach out to me because I do want to pray for you guys and with you guys. So um, and just would like y'all to know that. Um, but let's get started with prayer and then we'll talk about this project y'all are going to do. Dear Jesus, I come before you. I thank you for this day. I thank you, Lord, that you love us. I thank you that um, all those years ago you did um, die for us, Lord, but um, you didn't stay dead for long, Lord, that you conquered um, death and you conquered sin. And I thank you for doing that for us. I pray that you be with these students, just help them to realize that and share that love with others. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Alrighty, so let's get started. Um, this week's going to be a little different. Um, I am only going to be doing the one video for you. The other time that you guys will see me will be on Wednesday. Um, so make sure you guys pay attention to this video. I'm going to tell you to screenshot a few things and um, to come back to this video to review, but this will be the only like full video you'll watch this week. So what are you guys going to do? Well, um, this is the big to-do list of things that we will do. Um, Monday, you're going to watch this video. You're going to review all the criteria. We're going to go over that together. And you're going to pick applications for this project. Tuesday, you're going to review the research requirements. So you'll come back to this video just for that. If you want to screenshot that, um, so you have that saved. It's also on assignments, so you can find it there. Um, but you're going to research and use applications one and two. Wednesday, you'll research and use applications three and four, as well as participate in our class Zoom. Um, Thursday, you'll research and use applications five and six and determine the best app in each category. And don't forget to watch Chapel on Thursday. Um, I know it'll be great and it's a good way for you guys to continue to grow. Friday, you'll review the script information and write your script and also submit your research that you've done on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Monday of next week, you're going to review the rubric for the video as well as um, record your video. Tuesday, you're going to edit the video, make sure if there's something that needs changes. And then Wednesday, you'll actually do an ethical project. You'll start on another one of those and submit your video. So I know that's a lot of information, but let's get into what y'all are doing with this project. So your objectives, you're going to analyze applications that could be helpful during remote learning. We're doing something completely new and different. So um, these are things that could be helpful for you or other students. Um, you'll research them using the iPad. You're actually going to play the games or use the apps that you're um, looking at. And then also go to the app store to get some of the information for the research. You'll find pros and cons of the applications, decide which app is the best out of each category. This will all make sense soon. Um, you're going to condense the information you've um, learned about and then use words processing software to create an easy to read list of information. Then you'll write a script showcasing the information gathered and record a professional video presenting the information and then edit the video to be easy to understand. So your goal. Um, you're going to review six different applications that could be helpful during this time. Um, we are experiencing something new and unprecedented, and as a result, life has changed drastically. You guys are no longer in the classroom learning. You're no longer being fed spiritually um, in a church building or at school where we're constantly pouring into you. And so um, three of the apps you review are going to be Bible-based apps, and we'll talk about that in a second. And three are going to be um, educational type apps. Um, after reviewing all of the applications, you're going to choose the best app in each category. So application selection. Like I said, you're going to pick three Bible or devotional apps um, because you guys are experiencing this new way of life. Um, I want you guys to find something that could be helpful for you or for others um, to help you get into the Word each and every day. 
Um, I love having an actual Bible in my hands. Um, there's just something great about it, but there's also great things about Bible apps. So I want you guys to be able to um, see that and play around with them. So you're going to actually pick three apps and download them to your iPad so that you can play them, review them, kind of get to know the apps. That way you can fully do the research step of it. Um, and you're also going to pick three educational game applications. So that is all today. If you do, if you want to do free ones, you can do all free ones. If you want one that's like 99 cents, I bet if you told your mom it was for a school project, she might go for it. If she doesn't, I'm sorry. Um, I'll send you a dollar if you need me to later. Um, but um, pick ones that um, you can afford and that you can work with. So step two research. This will be on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Remember, you're going to do two apps per, per day, and you're going to actually have to use and research the app. So you're going to tell me what the app title is the app category as stated in the app store, the app purpose, that is your own description. So why do you use this app? What is the purpose of it? The app cost that uh, you can easily find in the um, store, three pros and three cons of the app. You will find this out by using the app. When you use the app, what is great about it? What's not so great? What can be fixed? Um, app store reviews and ratings. So you're gonna go to the app store and copy and you're gonna put the rating and then copy and paste someone's review with their cause and then your own personal review. This is what's great, this is what's not great. You know, sum up all of the information. Um, when you are doing this, you are going to use bullets to separate the information. So you'll have your app title and then you'll go in and, or you'll have the application and then you'll go in and put all the other information under bullets. And then you'll put the new application, all of the information under bullets. You're showing me that you know how to organize information with that. Um, make sure it's aesthetically appealing. It's easy to read. Um, all information should be in your own words or quoted. The only things that are going to be quoted are the reviews from the app store. The rest you guys are coming up with. Um, obviously, the app title doesn't have to be in quotation marks, but the pros and cons, the purpose, and your own review all need to be your own words. Um, like I said, that is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So Friday, you guys are going to write the script. So create a script for your movie. In the script, you're going to review each application, highlighting the name of the app, the cost, and your personal review. You don't have to do, you don't have to read the apps, um, reviews from other people's. You don't have to put the app rating. Um, you are just putting those three things. That's what I'm looking for. Also ensure that you say which app is the best educational game and which is the best Bible or devotional app. So if it was me, I would say, Here's Bible app number one, Blue Letter Bible. Da -da -da -da, talk about it. I would say it costs this much. This is my review of the app. Then I would say, here's my second app. Here's my third app. And then after I talk about all the Bible apps, I'll say, I think the Blue Letter Bible is the best app because da -da -da -da. if you do not put that because in, you won't get that full credit. Um, so make sure you do that as well. Step four, create the movie. You're going to create a movie either using iMovie or Spark Video, summarizing your findings and showing the best app in each category. If you are using iMovie or Spark Video, you don't have to be on there. You can just have screenshots of the things and then record your voice. If you want your face on there, you can. If you want to show yourself using it, you can. But um, I'm not requiring your face to be there. You do need to ensure you can be clearly heard in your video. You film in landscape format and you add text to show the names of each application and your name. You're gonna do this on Monday and Tuesday. So how am I gonna grade you? That's always important. I always have a rubric for you guys. So here's your rubric for the movie. Um, introduction, a clear introduction is filmed where the students introduces themselves in the project. So, hi, my name is Mrs. L and I'm going to be doing an application review project of educational game apps and Bible devotional apps today. Let's get started. That's a great example of an introduction. I don't just say, hello, here's the blue letter Bible. I actually introduce things. Um, devotional application one description, the app name, cost, and personal review are all given. So here's my first devotional app. It is blah, 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 blah. It costs this. I think this about it. If I do all three of those, I get 10, 10 points. Same thing for devotional app two and devotional app three, as well as educational game app one, two, and three. Then, best educational game application. The best educational game is defined and a clear explanation of why it is the best is given. You do both of those 10 points. You do one of those five points. You don't mention it, you get no points. 
Well, actually, you get one. It's not kind of me. Best Bible or devotional application, same thing. Voice, you should be easy to hear, easy to understand, and you should speak properly. So if you mess up eight times, you probably should start over and record. If you have one little stutter, that's probably okay. But if you have multiple, start over and record again. You guys have time to do this. We want it to be professional. Uh, last thing, titles and subtitles. If they're added, you get five points. If you just have a title, you don't put in the subtitles, you get three. If they're missing, you get one. So um, please refer back to this video so that you guys know what you're doing. Um, I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. And if you have any questions, please feel free to message me on the portal. That's the best way to get me. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.